Okay, hello and welcome to another tutorial. This one's a very, very quick one, um, just for those of you that are starting to set up validators on test nets in the Cosmos ecosystem. Um, when you first get around to uh, submitting a create validator transaction, you might not uh, provide uh, some of the metadata like a description or um, an image and you might be wondering how to do that sort of stuff. Uh, using the example of Juno, which is uh, what I'm focusing on at the moment, um, you would run something like uh, this to um, create a validator. And there's a, a variety of sort of options there. Um, I'll link as well to the Cosmos documentation in the, uh, in, in the video description. Um, but usually you're just going to use amount, pub key, moniker, chain ID, commission rate, commission max rate, commission max rate change, minimum self-delegation, gas, gas prices, and your signing key. So there's still quite a lot of parameters, but you might not, for example, um, set identity or website, um, which are both optional, but, but important. Um, so by adding one of those, you can, uh, by adding identity, you can pull through an image from Keybase and by adding a website, people can, well, look you up. So that's good. So if we look at the validators on the current Juno testnet, Lucina here, we can see Needlecast, which is our validator. And it's gonna take a moment to load. Uh, active, but no, no image, doesn't look very good, doesn't look professional. So what we're going to do is we're gonna pull through our logo from Keybase. So first you need to go to keybase.io, again, link in the description, uh, set up an account, validate it, and create a PGP key uh, within Keybase. And then you're going to need this address. So now we're going to refer to that PGP key when we submit our edit validator request. Like before, we're going to run uh, Juno DX, Juno DTX, staking, edit validator. You can see what's available there. I'll link in the description below to the documentation where you can see all the different flags. In this case, we don't actually really want to update much apart from website and identity. So let's just do that. Uh, DTX staking data website. work and then identity and then we want to put our string from just a minute ago okay and then we'll need our usual stuff chain ID Lucina and then I'll sign in key. Broadcast that. Okay, so we can now see it's updated. Um, I've actually compacted down the video to keep it short, but it does actually take some time for this um, avatar to be pulled through. Um, I think it depends on whatever block explorer you're using, potentially. Um, I'm not actually 100% clear on the mechanism other than obviously it uses that uh, the PGP to look it up via the API um, provided by Keybase. And now if we click through from that, we should see that it is, of course, taking us to Keybase for this validator. So you can specify that when you initialize the validator or like we did here, you can edit uh, that information to add the image later. At the very least, um, you probably want to have an image, um, a web address, which we can click through here and it's going to land on the Envoys page, um, and a description. And uh, nautily here, we don't have a description, but we could always submit a second um, edit validator transaction to add that metadata in there as well. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. If there's anything else you want to see, drop a, a comment down below and say what you'd like to see. Um, maybe planning a couple of other things on validators and as well, um, probably some more bits and pieces on smart contracts, <coughs> which means that I should probably remind again that at the moment on the Juno chain, there is the Hack Juno competition 
1% of total Juno supply available for projects that provide uh, useful tools for the community and things like smart contracts or dashboards or whatever. Um, more information on that available via the link, uh, via Discord, where you can come join the Discord at the link below in the description or uh, github.com, Cosmos Contracts, Hack Juno, again, link in description. Apart from that, thanks for watching and party on.